it may have happened to you that you wanted to access some photos on your iPhone. And upon going to the camera roll or, you know, the gallery app of iOS, some of your photos may have been just loading for a while. Same thing, videos, you want to play them, press play or whatever. But it simply doesn't work or takes too long. In this video, I'll show you multiple ways to fix it. The very first option, or reason why it takes really long, would be the iCloud and the connections behind it. Basically, the videos you're viewing are not downloaded to your device, but rather on the iCloud, meaning on the internet. And because of the connection being a bit slower, or Wi-Fi signal weaker, well, this could cause the problem of slow loading. In the perfect situation, the photo or video would load up instantly. You wouldn't even know that it's not downloaded on the device. So if this is the case, you manage it in the settings, you'll open the settings normally and tap on your name right there at the top of the page. This is your iCloud slash Apple ID section. Then click on the iCloud and there you can see what's going on. We are only interested in the photos section. Basically, I want you to keep it turned off. It even says right here, the word off. If you open it up, you can also see sync this iPhone. I have this disabled. I don't want to upload any photos to iCloud. My photo stream is another option that still automatically uploads images to iCloud. In this case, it only takes the latest 30 days worth of photos and videos. And these are accessible across all of your devices. Again, this means that on your iPad or another device, these photos will require internet connection and may even take a bit longer to load up. And this is what we want to prevent from happening. Then at the bottom, there's the shared albums toggle. I personally keep it turned off as well. I don't want to share anything. So maybe it's just me, but I don't really vibe with the iCloud photos. I absolutely don't like it when my videos need to internet to load up. Uh, the very same settings are also present in the photos section. So still in the settings, if you scroll down to the bottom, there is the photo section. And if you open it up, you can once again see the iCloud photos, my photo stream and shared albums. It's the very same thing, but when you're in the photo section, it only applies to this specific device. However, when we were in the iCloud section, the changes made were relevant to all devices running on the same Apple ID. The next possible thing causing it would be the cellular data, more specifically cellular data that doesn't have access to the Photos app. If you go to the settings, you'll right away see the cellular section, open it up obviously, and there at the bottom of the page are all the apps listed with a toggle next to them. What you want to make sure is that the Photos app also has a green color next to it. The toggle needs to be on. This means that the Photos app has access to the cellular data, meaning that it can load videos even without Wi-Fi. Then I want you to check the storage of your iPhone. Let me explain why. Well, you should always have a bit of a headspace. You should never fill up the entire storage 100%. If you do, it may happen that it prevents the iCloud photos and videos from downloading properly to your device. To check the storage, go to the settings again, tap general, and iPhone storage should be somewhere there. Just generally see how it's going on your iPhone and perhaps delete some old apps and files you don't use anymore. This might help you as well. And lastly, there is the basic troubleshooting. So restart the iPhone, reopen the Photos app, close it, open it up again. You may also check out the software update section. It may easily happen that new software is already available to you. So just go ahead and update to the latest one. That would be about it. Hope this video helped you out. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to the Foxtech YouTube channel and also stay tuned for more tutorials and videos like these. And thanks a lot for watching and see you guys later. <laughs>